Hello and welcome back to the channel. Coming up in this episode, we're going to take the monkey to one of the most coolest places you can go in the UK. Cue the intro. Look, look what's back. Look, what's back, yeah. look at your smile. Good. So you've had to, this is what the third engine swap now. Yeah. So after the humiliating defeat I had last time when we did the McDonald's race. Yeah. And I lost miserably. Yeah. That engine was horrendous. So I have been out and bought the third engine uh, and put that in over the last couple of days. And literally until about six o'clock last night, I was still messing about with it, getting it sorted out. But the Vespa is back. Well, where are we going now? Yeah. Is like probably just over an hour away. Yeah. That's got to make an hour. So we'll get a good test. If it breaks yeah. down, you know we've got the hero who's going to come. Yeah. So it doesn't matter, does it? Because he'll just well, say, save us. Well, so we'll be right. Yeah, just in case it all goes wrong. Just in case it goes wrong, yeah. <laughs> it's nice to have it back. So that basically means that we can now plan an adventure, yeah. old school, like the old days, in yeah. the campers and head off on these bad boys. So Strada Florida Mark II? No. <laughs> So look who it is, Mr. Dazza, our hero. We're back together, all three of us. We certainly are, yeah. And the monkey. And the monkey, and, still going. And the best bit of it is, is that we tackled and conquered the Strad Florida, where the Vespa just blew up in a ball of flames and we yeah. were the best, because we got the best bikes. Yeah. But today, we're gonna go to the Triumph uh, factory and visit the visitor center. It's such a cool place to go. So you, you've never been, the no. psychic's never no. been. No. So it should be quite exciting. And we get to put yeah. part of the best bikes in the world right outside the front. Yeah, and I think these will get more attention than the Triumphs. Perhaps. I think they will, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that'll be the best bit. Everyone will be piling around our bikes yeah. and have these beautiful Triumphs there. Yeah. But should we hit the road? Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go. So we're just about to leave. Mr. Daz's bike's not been out for a while and the battery is flat. Um, so we're going to hopefully bump start it before we get going. That's the plan. You're best to sit on it. Because of the weight, yeah, because it's so light. If you sit on it and roll down the hill, we'll give you a push. Here we go. That's it. What a start, eh? <laughs> it's got to start with a bit of a boom. <laughs> oh, yeah. We can't bump start that either. Oh. Oh. Right, here we go again. Poor monkey's got dust on it, it's been a while. And I ran out of time to give it a clean. Woohoo, come on monks, it's been a while. Oh, the monkey's back. <laughs> Look at it go. I can't believe how nippy this actually feels. I thought I'd get on this and it'd feel a bit slow because I'm not ridden it for a while. But oh my gosh, that's already a load of joy. I'm going to lose everyone with the power of the monkey in a minute. Right, well, the sidekick hasn't got... He's getting a new camera, and it's going to arrive, hopefully, before the charity trip. So, currently, it's just me recording front ways. I can hear him on comms, but you can't hear him. So, unfortunately, it's just my sexy voice and none of his horrible voice. But our first thing of it is, is to go and get some fuel to fill up these. And then we head to a place called Lutterworth. So we're going from Market Harbour to Lutterworth. And then what we can do then, because it's a lovely road. And the last bit what, near a like, industrial area called Magna Park to Hinkley, where the Triumph factory is, where Triumph originally was from, Hinkley. That is uh, where we're going to head to. It's not as good a ride for the last bit, but the first sort of three quarters of the ride is a fast, lovely, A-paced A road. So it's going to be good fun. But we're going to hammer down to Mars, we're going to grab some fuel, and then I will see you as we're leaving Harbour for one of the most coolest quick biking roads in the world. Well, we are bombing along for the people that are train spotters, you know, the ones that like to also stare at the moon and ladies' magazines. Then uh, we are on the A4304 going from Harbour to Lutterworth. Again, it's a lovely fast road for anybody that fancies a spin from that location. But 
being on the monkey <laughs> we are having a right giggle having mr dazza behind me on his monkey is absolutely awesome but so far the most funniest bit is because the sidekick has changed his engine out again this one works and earlier on he got to about 65 miles an hour downhill pinned and he was screaming like a girl with excitement and when we slowed down we're coming up to a roundabout it was like my heart's going my heart's going my heart's going he was having so much fun and that's what these bikes do we are having a blast a giggle a second but anyway what we're going to do now is speed test his bike again so i'm going to obviously the monkey's faster because it's the best bike in the world but what we're going to do is we're now going to see how fast he can get out of his bike so on your marks get set go Come on. Right. That's already 60. Oh, <laughs> he's pinning it. He's going, he's pulling away. 70. Come on. Oh, I'm catching him now. 75. 75 miles an hour. 76. Look at him go. Look at him. He's even got a bit of a wobble there. Look, he's going for it. 72. Oh, I think we got to seven. I think we got to 75 then. 75 miles an hour on a little baby Vespa. Oh, if you can hear the sidekick right now, it's almost like he's met a girl for the first time and taken her around the back of the sheds. Oh, I can't wait. Cannot wait to get there. So we are going to the Triumph factory, and the Triumph factory has a visitors' experience. You can pay for a tour, but you're not allowed to film the tour. I have been there before. If you go right back in my videos, actually don't go right back in my videos because it was when I was really new at doing this, and it was terribly done, and I was really nervous. And I think I filmed a lot of it on my phone. But I have been there before, and I thought, as the sidekick and Mr. Dazza have never been, and it's such a cool experience because when you get there, it's got a really cool bike calf with engines, and you walk around like a museum part and it's just amazing it's really cool and try and put it all on and it's free you don't have to buy a cup of coffee or pay to go in and I just thought with the sidekick being a cheapskate he'll love this because it's free so that's where we're gonna head to and I just I'm looking forward to seeing their faces because it is such a cool place to go anyway we're gonna ha keep hammering down this road and of course it wouldn't be a proper 11 out of 10 adventure if we didn't do some cool bike shots on the way so ladies and gentlemen let's have a bit of a giggle let's have some fun before we get there here we are the triumph factory experience so let's just go for a little bit of a stroll around see what you can get for free enjoy your coffee but let's go check it out you excited yeah it's good it ends with food yeah. <laughs> you know when you look at a bike you think that looks really cool but then you realise that you're quite short ass and you can't touch the floor. Because you're short. Oh no! <laughs> I really want one. I can't touch the Mr. Dazza. Yes, sir. You look shocked. Are you excited that we're going to go 
Correct. extremely excited. Yeah. Go for a tour. You're not allowed to touch ev everything that you see. All right. Just me. Just you. Ready? That sidekick. You can have to stroke his buttocks. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. the history from the beginning to the end, and all the films and stuff that these bikes are being used, and this is free. Yeah, good, isn't it? How cool is this place? Free day out. Can't believe we've not been before. I know, and we're what an hour away from here. Yeah. But old Hinkley, yep. start a triumph, and they've showcased it really, really well. I mean, how cool is this place? I mean, come into the factory where they make the bikes. Look at all the bikes behind me that are getting ready to be shipped out. I mean. We're here. And they've put this place together to really show the history of Triumph, and it makes you want one. I generally want to get another Scrambler again. 
never scrambling, never Bonneville because it's just so cool. I mean, this place, like, it's amazing. So, Mr. Dazza, are you super impressed? Super impressed, yeah. It's cool, isn't it? Yeah, it was a, it was a nice pasty. <laughs> and the calf. The calf was good. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, which tripe do you reckon you'd buy after being here? The orangey coloured scrambler thing, I like that. See that? No. But a oh. scrambler? It's like a scrambler. 1200? No, no, it's an old, old one. Oh, old, old one. You want to go yeah. old school? 60s. 60s? Happy like cool. me. Are you, are you 60? No. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> From the 60s. From the 60s. Well, we're here and it's. I don't know, I think it's quite a special place to come and visit, knowing that all bikes were, you know, are being built here and still built here and yeah. they're getting more and more popular. More and more. That is my dream bike. That is what I wanted to buy myself this year and I haven't, I don't really, really want it because that is just sexy. Stop making those vroom vroom noises, we can hear you down there. I want it. I really want it. It's nice. I was going to buy myself a brand new one of these and just because of the band and stuff, it's not happy. It's just sexy, isn't it? Don't I look sexy? Not really. Try it. It's small. Yeah, but then you sit with your feet forwards. It's good, isn't it? See? That's cool, isn't it? Me and you. <laughs> you can have the monkey bars, because you're the monkey. And I'll just look cool with the cool leather yeah, jacket. Yes. Yeah. I wonder if you can get one no, of those things that sticks up the back as well, like big batteries. Yeah. But then the thing of it is, if we'll get one that's like scrap, so you can fix it up. Well, there you go. That is the Triumph Experience Centre. But the best bit of it is, is that it's the best coffee shop in the entire world because you get to see all of that. And what a place to come and ride to in Hinkley. It's just fantastic. And the, it just oozes the history and it keeps that brand that makes you just want to go and buy a bike. Literally, I instantly want to go to a dealership now and go and buy a bike. But anyway, we're going to jump back on the bikes and do the proper British thing and go to the pub. So, just before we head off to the pub, what do you reckon? Overall, your opinion of the experience centre, let alone you haven't had to pay and it's free, what would you class it at? Nought to 10, where would you put it? 11 out of 10, obviously, it's, isn't it? It is, isn't it? It's gotta be. It's a magical place, yeah, I it's think. it's a really nice place. It's to know that it's like, they make them here as well. Obviously, they make them yeah. in Thai, in Thai, Thailand and that now, but they still make them here and yeah we get yeah. to visit it so if you ever buy a triumph you can go that might have been made in there it might not have been <laughs> but it might it's well worth a visit if anybody's in the area well yeah. worth a visit it's very cool and sidekick yeah i see you getting quite emotional because you touched every single thing in there even if you said do not touch even um, if i could get my leg mm -hmm. over it I, I did you did you got a bike you shouldn't have even sat on <laughs> <laughs> i was starting to walk away thinking that they're going to come out in a minute and tell you to the, get out the men in the suits are going to come and kick me off <laughs> no it's good i mean considering that's free that's yes it's fantastic like like uh that says if you people if you're in the area it's worth a ride out and just to spend a bit of time have a walk around and have a coffee and that yeah it's great i think the most important thing it's was free. when we went and sat and had coffee and things i sat down everybody else brought their own stuff over and I, mine was brought over to me because i'm a lord were you quite jealous no that's because you're a bell end <laughs> here we go then a bit more monkey fun to a good old good old pub I have one of those non-alcoholic beers again before we head back for the day but 
Oh, I miss this monkey. It does, honestly. These little bikes are just are just awesome for a bit of fun. They're a right giggle. Bye bye Triumph UK. Until I get my next press bike, I suppose now, and then we'll revisit Triumph again. Maybe even take the press bike to the Triumph factory. Who knows? Anyway, we're going to hack down a few miles. The psychic's going to buy me a beer, and life is going to be good. Let's go. So sidekick, yeah. after your non-alcoholic beer, one or mm -hmm. two, um, you feel happy, you've had a good day? Yeah, it's been good, hasn't it? It's been a nice, nice day, it's nice to see our hero again. Yeah. It's been a good day. And you feel lucky because nice you're with me, that's lovely. No, it's not. Right. <laughs> <laughs> so Mr Dazza, you've come many, many miles, and we've had a fantastic ride together. There's been a few man hugs. Yeah. But um, unfortunately, all good things have to end. Well, this is it. But it's been the best day of your life. It's been a great day, really enjoyed it. It's been fairly uneventful, apart from uh, one of Darren's nuts has dropped off. <laughs> it's true, it has. But apart from that, everything's been really good, hasn't it? Yeah. It's been a great day. Best day of your life again. And really well worth a journey to the, a trip to the Triumph Factory. Yeah, it was good. It was a fantastic, fantastic day. Well, thank you so much for watching. Joe, you know what a blast of a day it's been. You've got two awesome monkey bites with the two best riders in the world, and then you've got, obviously, the Vespa. But it's been an absolute giggle. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll catch you in the next bonkers helmet head adventure. Bye bye for now. Mm -hmm.